we just got a huge box in, guys, of WWE autograph pops. Let's get into it. Alrighty, guys, so we just opened up that package. Um, a ton of bubble wrap in there, so I ended up taking off all the bubble wrap, getting everything out and about. If you're new to the channel, welcome in. This is quite the video to join us for. I have five autographed WWE Funko Pops that are all extremely wanted and needed in my collection. And I cannot wait to show you these. Let's get into it one by one, starting with my probably my least favorite of them, which is not a least favorite. It's just not my most exciting to the most exciting autograph that I picked up. Again, if you're new, I hope you enjoy. And if by the end of the video you did enjoy and you like the channel, you like the content, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you feel like I've earned it. Thank you so much. Here we go. All right, so pick up number one in this lot of WWE Funkos that we got. Um, let's just start by saying this. Whoever sold me this, I don't know. I found them on Mercari. They hooked me up with a great deal. They had a great deal already for the five uh, autographed Funkos, but I ended up shooting them an offer and was like, hey, if you take this, um, just because of the Mercari fees are like ridiculous now. Um, I shot them an offer. They were willing to work with me and we agreed on something and I had to pick up this lot. Such an awesome lot. And now my summer spending is definitely going down a little bit. But let's start it off with a banger. We picked up and all of these, all five of them were certified authentic by Dark Parlor Originals. So it's got their certification, it's got JSA certification. So we know that these are authentic. That's always my biggest thing with autos, gotta be authentic. Or I have to meet them in person, obviously. But first off, we have the one and only Rey Mysterio. And these are gonna be hard to show you guys, I can tell with the uh, ring light. So let's try to turn this lighting down a little bit, see if that helps us. Maybe a little bit, hopefully it does. Well, we got Rey Mysterio, he is signed in blue. Um, really awesome, like I said, they are certified by JSA and Dark Parlor, which they have their own little sticker, that's pretty cool. Um, they also come with the certification in the back from JSA, as well as a really cool, uh, I wanna say it's a sticker, or maybe just a cardboard cutout. That's really awesome, I really like this one completely mint and in a hard stack as well which these go for like 15 to 20 bucks on their own so just another added value but awesome pop for the first pickup let's get into pickup number two pickup number two is probably a controversial one for wrestling fans some people don't know if this guy's off the hook um if he acted the fool we don't really know anything, but I do know that he was a great wrestler for his time, and this was just a pop that he had that I wanted to throw into the deal, try to get a good deal on. Hopefully, this guy wasn't up to no good. If he was, I'm probably going to end up selling this down the road if stuff comes out. Who knows? But we did pick up the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar autographed the Amazon exclusive Funko. This one, again, really good certification, double certified. I love that. Um, and obviously on the back there you see Brock in that new look with the ponytail Really cool, and I love how he signed it in red I just feel like that really goes well with this pop and other attires that he's worn in his career So really really cool one. That's pickup number two And the third pickup that we got was one that is probably a little bit more valuable Than the one that I'm saving for second to last but the second to last pickup is probably it's probably my favorite I don't know um, just a really cool one coming up next this one's also really cool but just slightly under for me so that's why we're putting it the third uh, I'm most excited for I don't even know what I'm calling it but I'm excited for all these you guys are gonna be excited for this one I think too we picked up again from dark parlor and this one was I think Beckett yeah Beckett witnessed for this one not JSA for the certification but we got and I'm gonna to try to get the good lighting because this signature is in a light color. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And again, I'm not sure how this lighting's gonna come out. We're, we're working with it, we're hoping for the best. Hopefully you guys can see that. He's got a really cool signature, really nice looking signature. And um, just his common pop, not, a, not an exclusive or anything, but nonetheless, really cool. Hopefully you're seeing that autograph good. I do apologize if not, but 
hopefully you get a good look at it. Again, stickers are there for certification. Big stone cold with the uh, Smoking Skull title, that's really cool. And just the uh, common, which is cool though, because he's got the uh, Smoking Skull on his shoulder there. So that's cool that they threw it on that little uh, sticker as well. Pretty cool detail, really awesome autograph. Obviously one of the biggest legends in WWE history. Definitely on people's Mount Rushmore should be. I mean, that's my opinion, but again, if we're talking Mount Rushmore favorites, like my, my favorites are gonna look a lot different than the greatest of all time. Like I, for me, if we're talking favorites, Dolph Ziggler is like almost on there, which is again, I know, I know he's not on the Mount Rushmore, but that's my opinion. He's one of my favorites. He's not the greatest, but he's one of my favorites. So we can talk about that in another video, I'm sure. But let's get into number four. This will be number four out of five. And we're just gonna show it to you right now while I got him here and hopefully find out the good lighting for him while we're on screen. This is one of the autographs I've always needed in my collection. I've always wanted this in my collection. And we finally obtained it. I'm so thrilled. We got the Funko Pop number 136 of John Cena. Really always needed a Cena autograph. I always wanted to meet Cena and I still do. Um, I just can't find him signing anywhere. I always see it online after the fact, but um, really just an awesome signature that if you grew up watching him wrestle, you know this one, that little weird star looking signature. Um, really cool, love the pop too, of him holding the towel in front of him. Really nice, um, let's just see. Let's see if I turn this down more. How we doing here? Eh, maybe. You guys could let me know. I'm gonna see it when I edit the video. If the lighting's bad, it's too late now, unfortunately. But there we go. We're working with this little ring light, and it, it does its job sometimes. Well, here you can barely see Cena. There, it's it's supposed to be a you can't see me Cena. It is what it is. But pretty cool sticker. And again, John Cena, second to last purchase. And if you haven't been tuning in. This last one is a grail, a mega grail that you need to watch right now. And the last piece, the final piece, like I said, I promised a grail. This piece, I, I wanted it in my collection. I didn't think I'd ever get it just because of the value. But again, this lot, we got an insanely great deal on. That's the reason that we have them here. That's the reason we took the deal. This one was the star of the show for me just because of the rarity and the unfortunate circumstances behind the rarity of this pop and this autograph. Um, you probably know who I'm talking about now. We ended up picking up Funko Pop number 77. Let's get that lighting back. The Fiend Bray Wyatt. And again, it's so sad. Rest in peace to him. He was way too young, had such a long career ahead of him and unfortunately lost too soon but i'm very grateful that i have his autograph now in the collection this is one that's not going to go anywhere anytime in the foreseeable future i don't know if it'll ever go um just a really cool piece and one that i'm glad that i have and that dark parlor did a signing with him that i must have not picked up way back when when he was alive and well but again, just a really cool pop. I love the stickers they throw on the back of their autographs. Really cool. And um, definitely one that I'm happy to have in the collection for sure. Awesome. He signed it in that yellow as well. So really cool. But nonetheless, this was one of my most anticipated unboxings, mail calls that I've had in months. I couldn't wait to get this in. I was surprised of the deal that I got, but thank God we did it. And um, now the autograph collection is getting quite big for uh, Funko Pops in general. We got some WWE. I've got a Demon Slayer one in there. I did a video on that. Um, I think I have, yeah, I've got a Johnny Lawrence from Cobra Kai, Gina Carano from uh, Mandalorian. I've got a ton of Funkos adding up now that are autographed, and I really like those. I really uh, have kind of dwindled down my Funko collection to either autographs or Disney, and there's an occasional couple Funkos that I pick up. I'm sure there's going to be wrestling ones that I grab that are just commons. Um, Funko's really good at getting your money and getting you to go ooh that one's cool like we just picked up that Jimmy Neutron a couple videos ago it, it's hard to say no to some of these because of the nostalgia behind them 
um, but I am definitely trying to have more of a wheelhouse that I'm in collecting Funkos just because you can dive down a rabbit hole and end up buying tons and tons of different lines and all different variants and stuff so autographs is definitely an expensive one but one that if I do with time and meet and greets and stuff mail-ins it would definitely be a fun one for me to do to know that these are signed by the, the talent themselves and um, the collection's growing and the value is growing as well just in case you know as collectors you always think in the back of your head does my collection hold any value and it's always good to know that it does at least that's my opinion um, but this was a very fun video for me to make for uh, a mail call for me to get in I hope that you guys enjoyed it I love showing you guys stuff like this that I get in randomly and just love posting about so hopefully you enjoyed the content if you did please don't forget to like this video subscribe leave a comment and let me know which one you thought was the coolest autograph if you saw them all I hope this lighting worked out um, and yeah just let me know what you guys are thinking about the channel what you guys want to see uh, what figures you're you're currently looking for and if you're new to the channel let me know what you collect down below i'm always interested so again take care god bless we'll see you real soon with more content thank you so much